The Cron CV Toolbox in the shop momentarily. These are some commie patches that I put in there that I made mostly with uh, the stock, actually, all with the stock instruments, stock devices, etc. There's a few effects with, uh, three effects with reeves, but other than that, it's all stock. I'll pull this one up. the filter frequency but you get an idea of what it sounds like without modulation. set up with random numbers, random CV. Alright, let me switch over to the folded stuff. This is uh, showing all 10 meter colors, green through violet. Let's go ahead and show you how to select those. So this is the default color scheme. The presets are right here. Uh, the color menu is right here, and the RGB values are right here. So you hit that toggle, shows the RGB values. That's secondary color. This is primary color. Uh, and then you click on these to actually select different presets. Here, let me pull up. Oh, that's yellow green pink, red, etc. Then you get out of there by clicking on the current or that button right there. These are just radio toggles. So these are all device patches that I set up uh, with extra quants, gate generators, and uh, envelopes just to show the colors. And I also turned down the FPS knobs all the way to help save on processing power because I'm recording this and running at double the audio rate I normally run at. For some reason, that helps to make the video not sound like crap. <laughs> it may still sound like crap, but um, let's see. Some of these are doing something special, but let me uh, let me show you the basic waveform stuff. Let's reset all the points. I can draw, change the number of points. Move them around. Can add in points. Delete, etc. Uh, there's several waves here. Four plus another three that are combos of this data. So it's 128 points total. And you get up to 32 on the first four. Excuse me, 64 on the second on these two and 128 on the last. And these are basically used as waveforms for the LFOs and they can also be used as note quantizer scales and pattern sequences which they are being used as right here. So this patch is actually doing random CV and the CV is being snapped to this scale that I've drawn in here uh, via this section right here which assigns says we're going to do this weighted note thing and use these waves on these LFOs. So I can change the scale directly, the interval, the size, uh, draw in here, etc. Uh, so these quants, uh, I call them quants, quants for some reason, early decision, but they're basically uh, sample and hold 
quantizers, smooth quantizers, slash gate generators. So right now they're being used as gate generators. And they are actually using waves 2 and 3 as pattern sequences. So this one's using wave 2, this one's using wave 3. Similarly on the back, it's set up that way. And these lamps show that something's going on right there, right here. The grid also has this, but I'm not using it on this patch. The grid has the note quantizing. Um, yeah, so you can see this moving along at a sequence. And then the two combine into the third, which is only active when it's used. Right now it's being used by this gate. This is a gate channel. Or, I'm sorry. What I'm actually moving right now is the quant channel, which is driving the gate. So that would be the first, second, third, which is the combo. And then this gate is accessed right here. I think that's the only place I'm using it. Yeah, I just set this up just to make something pretty. This patch doesn't normally use that. Uh, but you can also trigger the LFOs, etc. Like on the uh, that random patch I had over here, Chaotic F FM. That was all gate triggered. <laughs> is curving the this one. Uh, oh, actually, I haven't covered curve sections yet. So here's a basic thing that's set up with curving. I'll take off the shape. Got a function selected and a curve amount. This mid is another curve amount. I'm going to click this to enable the function. This is just the direction of it. I'll go into more detail on this in, uh, in other videos and in, in manual, and there are, there are help sections everywhere, too. I think there's a t total of 20 of them on the front and back, one on the back, and then there are these intro sections. So pretty much everything on here is explained on the device itself, if you click on those. All right, so the curve section here, as you can see, is curving this LFO. Uh, if I chose a saw wave, basically imagine that this is the phase. A straight line. So this is curving the phase, which is then fed into the, or used to access this waveform. And you can select custom waveforms here also, random stuff, steps. Um, steps. I haven't quite finished with this here. So we got S curves, different shapes. You can do a curving to multiple uh, waveforms here, or iterations phases, <laughs> or you can do it to a fraction. Now if I click on this, it's going to show the whole wave here. And this right here allows me to see several at once. So you can see this is being applied to a fraction. So I get a neat curved stepped thing going on. So let me show you the actual steps. I'll just turn all that off. These won't do anything. change the number of steps up to 64 and then right here there are different types so we got normal reversed and up down I'll put that back to one phase one iteration and then they're also uh, alternating with up down reversed and normal so that's zero up down alternating with zero This is the invert. This right here is high, mid, low. I hit that green button on, and it starts to warp it. If I hit this on, it actually uses that function to warp it. That's a relatively new addition, so I had to make an extra toggle there. Uh, let me run back to here and play something. This is one of my favorite patches. So the colors can be customized back here too. You can change the logo colors, the title colors individually. You can turn off 
off the inside color display. Like I said, you can do this grid overlay stuff here. There's a lot of other options I don't have time to cover. But the random seeds are pretty neat. They uh, they make a a repeatable CV random sequence. For every song playthrough, it's going to do the same thing. There's different seeds. Uh, each LFO and grid LFO will have a different seed also. So they'll all be unique. And basically, you can change the tempo um, and pick up the play position and drop it down anywhere, and it'll have the same sequence every time. Uh, if it's synced, if it's free, uh, you can trigger it and it'll be the same. Like reset it with this, which resets all phases, or use a gate trigger. Um, but there's more details about that elsewhere. Uh, but that comes in handy. And we've got different uh, curve things going on. I'm not going to talk about all that. Oh, one thing that might come in handy that's real basic. we got basic uh, input mods, a level boost, uh, which comes in handy on the grid if you need more boosting of the signal. That goes up to eight times. And this smooth fix rate right here, these smooth batches, which I have not covered yet, I'll show you. If I do something like a square, and here I'll click on the oscilloscope. Slow it down a little. Now I'll speed it up. Now use a smooth knob. This is being modded, by the way. That's why it's jumping around, or curved or something. But you can see it's smoothing it out. So this averages uh, the batches. It's a number of batches. And since that changes with different sample rates, what you can do is fix the sample rate that you are changing it at. So right here, I'm actually at 96 right now, but when I made this patch, I was at 48. So now that I'm at 96, it will adjust this to do the same thing. It will adjust the, uh, the internal number of batches to average over. All right. Oh, well, except I don't want to keep those <laughs> settings. There we go. <laughs> so I'm sure I've forgotten a whole lot of things to talk about here. Um, I guess I haven't talked about the user controls. We got pads which can select different things, different combinations, and four user knobs, four buttons, plus an extra four knobs that are hidden back here with their own labels. So you can access those in the sources. Um, the mods, barely covered. They can do multiple, maybe I did talk about that, multiple destinations being modded by multiple sources. Uh, scaled right here. And like I said, there are direct inputs, mod inputs here. Four outputs for each component, a gate input, uh, 16 general CV inputs. They all have uni, buy, and invert, invert toggles on them, um, which I don't have time to explain, but it's pretty basic. And then there are these set of custom outputs that are, they default to the user knobs and buttons, but they can also point to anything else. So I could choose like the LFOs or I could uh, wire something into here, right here, and then I have a split right here, an automatic split. So you can do massive CV splitting pretty easily without doing anything on the front. Uh, if the need arises. So I've done a lot of takes and I forget what I've talked about here. <laughs> Um, but it's in the shop. Try it out. Uh, I plan to add more color presets when users give me their favorite colors. Um, I can add more curve functions, etc. If you have suggestions, so try it out. Thanks for watching. <laughs>